Well, welcome back to Audio, Video, and Tech, where we talk about audio, video, and tech. So grab your coffee, grab some snacks, sit back and relax. It's 2022. Let's talk about tech that might make your life easier or not. So I picked this up. Uh, it's a 4K 120 hertz, AK 60 hertz splitter uh, right before uh, New Year's. And I had a, I like to think outside the box. Let me drink some more coffee here. We didn't need it. Yeah, like I said, I like to think outside the box. So my TV is a Samsung Q90T and it does support up to 120 hertz. So I wanted to see if I could hook it up to my Xbox One X, uh, which only supports up to 1440p at 120 hertz, but at 4K, it only supports the 60 hertz. So I looked online, I looked everywhere, and did not find a video or someone reviewing it for what I wanted to look, what I was looking for. What I wanted to do and accomplish was to see if this would, this little bit of tech would allow me to play like Xbox One X 4K at 120 hertz. Seemed like a pretty logical uh, thought for me. So, looked online, watched a bunch of tons of videos, but I did not see anyone talk about it. So I said, you know what, what the hell, I'll buy one. So I bought one, I spent, uh, it was like 34 bucks. That's it right there. And I got it a few days later. And so I hooked it up and you need you need an extra uh, HDMI cable to connect whatever component, whatever source you are to this. And then from here to like your Xbox or your TV or whatever like that. So I did all that. No, it does not. Reasonably thinking, yeah, I was hope so, but it didn't. So this is why I'm making this video. Because no one, I have not seen one single video talking about what I'm talking about here. It doesn't change it from your source, like on the Xbox. It, you're not going to get 4K... 120 out of an Xbox One uh, X, not not the fifth, not the newest gen. This is the Xbox One X, and so it didn't work. So I hooked it up for like you know I hooked up my cable to it. Um, I hooked up everything that I could to it. It didn't change anything at all. So, who is this for? Let me take it out of the box. That might help out. Power cable. And that is a uh, micro, uh, what was that? USB C, micro USB, whatever. And the little, the little box right there. So, who is this for? This is for someone who has PS5, Xbox One, uh, the Series X, the newest, you know, the newest uh, gen, and they're they're you're already getting. 4K 120. Okay. 
definitely did not do what I wanted to do. I was unsure if he would do it or not because, like I said, I had not. I have not seen another YouTube trying to do the experiment that I wanted to do. It would have been great if it did. It didn't. So, no big deal. Um, I can use it as a splitter. I can add I can add on two extra HDMIs because I only have four on the back of my Samsung uh, Q90T QLED and I can I can add these two extra right here. Actually, you're only getting one extra because the single would go into the back of whatever port you're going to get and you get these two right here. So you're only really getting one because this will go into your existing port. You're going to you're going to like put it into your your EARC and then these right here. So you're only gaining one. So you have to you have to ask yourself is it worth the money? Is it worth the 30 30 bucks, 40 bucks? Hopefully you're not paying more than that. Is it worth the 30 40 bucks to get an extra HDMI and yeah I I would I would think so um, there's there's more out there that have I've seen like three to four HDMI ports that you can port in I think you're paying 40 to 50 so your cost your cost versus benefit dramatically goes up because you're only paying a little bit more, but you're probably getting two extra um, HDMI's. So the cost per, the cost per uh, per benefit, I would say, is worth it if if it's not a defective box or if it works and it it's able to work as a HDMI switcher, whatever you want to call it. You know, you add an extra. I don't know. Add an extra component to where it takes. Uh, maybe you want two Blu-ray. You want to hook up two Xboxes or an Xbox and a PlayStation. So if you if you if you've ever wondered if these little 4K 8K switchers will up convert your up convert everything from say 40 from 4k to 60 hertz to 4k 120 hertz it won't don't waste your money if that is what you're trying to do it will not do that only get one of these if you're looking to add extra um, HDMI you know an extra HDMI or two to your TV for the rest of your component systems so, that's the end of the video. Please give me a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. You know, it's 2022. I'll be putting out... I'll, the weather's kind of crappy, so I I don't like rain. I don't like the rain. It just brings me down. But I have more product coming in that I ordered. I'll be doing more reviews and I just want to take a break because you know Christmas and New Year's and now that I'm back into it again so again please give me a subscribe hit that subscribe button comment and like and help me with uh growing my channel because I want to I want to grow it so thanks a lot for watching have a good evening I'll see you again <music>